Hello, hello, and welcome back to Emilingua. My name is Ida Zaren, that's another class of English. So today is Tuesday, and today we're gonna be reviewing some grammar material. We will first read some rules and explanations, and after that we'll do some exercises. So, uh, as usual, we'll also have a warm-up activity. This time, I would like to uh, give you a possibility to practice your speaking skills. So, I will give you some tips to use some expression that you can use when expressing what you think about that or that statement. So, waiting for you, and as soon as you are here, we will start. So, please, if you don't have anything to do, join the class. Practice your speaking, listening, and um, grammar skills. And uh, if you are busy, try to do it as quickly as possible and join our class. So I'm waiting for you. As soon as you are here, let me know. And I will switch my camera back. So see you later, I hope. Good evening, Mikhail. How are you feeling today? Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Mikhail? Hello, Supervisor. So, how are things with you? Have you been working hard uh, as Could you repeat? Uh, if... Yeah, well, well, how are things with you? Your question. Mm -hmm. my, my usual question. So, how are things with you? How are you feeling today? If you, uh, could you write uh, the first uh, question because uh, I don't understand the. How are things with you? How are things with you? Yeah. I have just written it in chat. You can see it, can you? Uh huh. Things. Uh -huh. That's right. How are things with you? So, how's everything? Uh -huh. How is life going on? Yes, yes. Except today it's uh, like you, uh, uh, like an usual day. It's mm. Everything, right? Okay. Uh, maybe uh, what I can say. <laughs> what are you focused on right now? What are you focused on? Yeah, what do you mean in in, in English or <laughs> at all? Uh, what's what is the I don't know project that uh, or something that you are um, focused on? It can be English, can be work, can be some something personal. I don't know. So what I focused on? I focused on improving your English. I focused on um, developing your business. I focused on uh, um, meeting. People, mm. I focused on improving your health and so on. So, what are you focused on? It's hard to say. I I have uh, a lot of. Uh, it's it's not a focus. I don't understand. But I focused on many things at the same time. Yes, yes. Because I, uh, I haven't uh, time to focus uh, to to one uh, maybe thing. Or, uh, so you can say, well, actually, I am focused on many things right now because mm -hmm. there are a lot of things. But, to but you know, it's a, it's not a focus. <laughs> if you focus on many things, it's like a, not a focus. Yeah, well, doesn't work really. Doesn't work properly when you're focused on many things. You are not focused on any. Well, sometimes people can be focused on many things. Just. It's not that easy to do, but some people can. Okay. I try to. Sorry? I, I try to do it. You try to do it. Okay. I see. Okay, Luba, good evening. Hello. Hello, Sitazar. Okay, nice, nice to see you. Okay. Nice to see you too. Okay, so uh, how are things with you, Luba? Um, I, I'm okay. Yes, I'm a little bit sleepy. Okay. Yeah. I want to sleep, but yeah, I have a little bit sleeping. I'm a little bit sleepy. Luba, I can. Uh, Luba, we can uh, 
uh, call uh, call you <laughs> in, in this chat, and uh, we can uh, how how to say it? It's like a scream. Uh, yes, screaming. No. Mm, I'm afraid I don't understand what you want to say to you. Uh, we, uh, we 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 need uh, to to scream uh, to wake up Luba. <laughs> 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 I have I have just um, drunk a strong tea, not to to want to sleep. <laughs> strong tea, and not coffee, but tea. Okay, does tea. it really help? I don't drink coffee. I, usually, I drink tea. Hmm. Does it help you not to feel sleepy? A little, a little, a little bit. A little bit. It does help, but a little bit. I see. Okay. So, Luba, what are you focused on right now? Are you focused on um, improving your English? Are you focused on, I don't know, uh, developing your daughter? Some ways mm -hmm. I focused on yes. your friends. Mm -hmm. What are you focused on? I'm focused on on the health, health on my daughter's health. Mm -hmm. um, extremely, this period called weather. I mean, a lot of of flu. That's right. Yeah. Many people catch colds, and I'm mm -hmm. not that, unfortunately. <laughs> I caught cold, and uh, I have been sneezing the whole day, just like crazy, and um, I really feel I'm falling ill, worse and worse. But I cannot afford it. So I'm struggling. <laughs> you cannot. <laughs> we need you. <laughs> we need your lesson. Yeah, well, let's, oh, anyways, um, I'll try not to uh, miss classes. <clears throat> okay, so um, and uh, today, today we're gonna be discussing grammar issues. So we will discuss uh, some structures, some prepositions like when, how long, for, and since. Uh, we will try to learn to differ uh, all them from each other. But before we uh, do the work that I planned for uh, for the grammar class. I would like to have another warm-up activity and uh, that means that you will have to practice your speaking skills. So, um, you know, what I noticed is that uh, sometimes when people have, when students have to express what they think about different um, ideas, uh, they lack some, some structures, some expressions. So I decided to uh, choose uh, some of them because there are really, really a lot. So I have chosen several of them. So now I will show you a table with some expression that you will use when expressing your opinion. And then I will give you some statements to comment on. What I want you to do is to try to remember those expressions. And you can use them not only when uh, doing this activity, like expressing what you think about that or that statement, but also just during, during the class. Well, uh, what I have noticed that um, after I gave those expressions to students, to some of them, they started using them, and it's really it's nice. It's really pleasant to, to, to see that students get something and they use afterwards. So what I want you to do uh, is to do the same. So uh, just a second, let me uh, show you the table with those expressions I have just told you about, and then we'll start. Okay, so opinion, opinion, opinion. Okay, here it goes. Stating your opinion. You can see my screen, can't you? Yes, I can. Oh, oh, oh just a second, sorry. Um, okay. Stating your opinion. So let's have let's first have a look at these expressions, <clears throat> and then I will give you um, some ideas, well, some statements, and your task will be to comment on. What is very important when uh, stating your opinion is to um, you know to give different uh, s to express different ideas, to approach the statement from different sides, to give. Uh, uh, to, to, to look at the statement from different angles, if you wish. So, and these expressions can help you to do that. So, let's read them. The first one. Well, on the one hand, and you say what you think on the one hand. But on the other hand, and then you say what you think on the other hand. Well, next expression. One can say that, 
and then you give some information that you got from, I don't know, from newspapers, from television, from radio uh, programs, and so on. But personally, I think that, and then you say what you personally think about that. I might be wrong, but I'm of the opinion that, so you can use this expression when you are not sure whether you are right or not, uh, but still you have your opinion. You can tell, you can share what you think about the statement. I'm not sure because I don't know the situation exactly, but as far as I know, or as far as I have read, or as far as I have heard, and then you tell us what you have heard, what you read, or what you know. And the last one for this class, I'm of mixed opinions about, about something about the topic we're discussing. However, my personal view is that and then you uh, tell us what you think. As you can see in all these expressions, you can approach the question from different angles. And if you express your, um, if your, your opinion in this way, using these expressions, you will sound more interesting. It will be really um, kind of a discussion, OK? And it will mean that you don't impose your opinion. You, you just share what you think about it. And you can accept you know, some others' opinions. So these are expressions that you can use. Now I will give you um, a second. Oh my god, I have forgot. I have pressed the wrong button again. Um, so here is the back, the file. <clears throat> so uh, now I will give you uh, some expressions, some statements uh, to comment on. So uh, the first one is um, Swimming in the ocean is much better than swimming in a pool. So, swimming in the ocean is much better than swimming in a pool. Ruba, what do you think about that? I'm not sure because um, I didn't, uh, I, because I haven't uh, ever swim, swam, swam <laughs> in, in the ocean. Mm -hmm. um, but um, as far as I know, it is much better to swim in the swimming pool because the temperature of water uh, there is um, uh, much warmer, and you cannot be afraid of of sharks there. <laughs> very good, very good. Well, just a small remark. You cannot say temperature is. Uh, Warmer, uh, ah, higher, higher, it's higher. What, yeah, temperature is high, or water is uh, water in a swimming pool is warmer than the ocean, mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and there is no risk to uh, come across some sharks. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, but. Uh, but on the other hand, I would like to have such one experience to swim in the ocean. Because. Uh, because I have never <laughs> done okay. it. <laughs> Not idea. You can add something else. Because uh, personally, I think that it must be wonderful. Uh, person ah, mm -hmm. personally, I. Uh, no, but but personally, sorry, I think but on, that. But, but on the other hand, I would like to have such an experience because. Uh, because it uh, seems to me. It must be an uh, unforgettable experience in my life. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Luba, for, uh, for trying well use, to use these expressions. You have done uh, well. So, uh, <clears throat> as you see, uh, first you can use one expression. As you said, like, I'm not sure because I have never swam uh, in the ocean. Uh, but as far as I know, it is better to swim in a swimming pool because water in a swimming pool is warmer and uh, there is no risk to come across any sharks. But on the other hand, to swim in the ocean must be really exciting and I would like to have such an experience because I personally think that uh, we can try uh, something new, we should uh, discover uh, a lot of things uh, during our life because if not, life would be boring and uh, really uh, not interesting.
that's that's what actually is what will have you said it. I just added some phrases, but still, as you can see, using these expressions can help you to approach the statement from different angles. And you have done it, so that's great. Okay, thank you, uh, Luba. Well, another statement. Mm, okay, well, um, Mikhail, what do you think about the first statement? So, uh, swimming in the ocean is mm, much better than swimming in the swimming pool. I, I, uh, I should use uh, this uh, sentence, yes? Uh, well... Yes, that's right, for sure. Uh, well, uh, the one hand, uh, I think the women uh, in women pool is for safety. Uh, but uh, on the other hand, uh, <laughs> Uh, it's like um, interesting uh, to swim in the ocean because uh, uh, we, we should see that maybe uh, uh, the fish and uh, other uh, <laughs> not animals are like a, a fauna or the water. It's like a, you, you can. Um, Diving, yes, diver, no diving. You can dive in the ocean. Dive in the ocean. It's very interesting, and you can how to say it is like swimming on the board. Yes, am I right? Sorry. You know the swimming on the board. Uh, it's like a you can sail. Mm -hmm. Sail on the board. Well, you can sail. No, I mean uh, uh, the, this. Uh, it's like a snowboard, but uh, I I don't remember. It's like ah, a, uh, you can. Uh, well, then to sail to. How to name? Uh, to sail. Sail. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, you can surf. I mean. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, good. Thank you. Uh, so you used well on the one hand, but on the other hand. Try to use not only one expression. Uh, I told you before, so try to use several. Good. Okay, another expression, another statement, sorry. So breakfast is the most important meal of the day. What do you think about this expression, about this statement? Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Well, uh, well, one can say that it, it is not so, but personally, I, I agree with this statement, and I think that uh, <clears throat> having a good breakfast uh, in the morning helps uh, us to stay in a good mood all day long, and um, to keep our body fit and in a good shape. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand? Uh, but on the other hand? What is on the other hand? Yeah, try to <laughs> look for something opposite. So uh, it's what I want you to, to learn to do. So first to give mm -hmm. a, a positive uh, idea, so it is really good and so on and so forth. But on the other hand? But on the other hand, uh, the breakfast Breakfast. Uh, breakfast. Sorry. Without that, but on uh, the other breakfast, hand, breakfast. On, on the other hand, breakfast um, should be uh, should be healthy, mm -hmm. healthy and light um, and light, light. Yes. Okay. Good. That's not to, of course. Not to over over eat your stomach. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. Thank you, Luba. So that's what I wanted to do uh, you to do. Good. Okay, <clears throat> and the last statement. So uh, for today, um, alcohol should be illegal. Real. So a statement for you. Alcohol should be illegal. Illegal. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> 
you can use any of the expressions that you can I see. Know, this I know, I know. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure, but <laughs> because I don't know the situation exactly. No, no. I, I guess this expression isn't very good to be used. So you can use. Well, I am have mixed opinions about that. No. Um, <laughs> uh, I should. Uh, I, can, I, I can use. Uh, one can say that uh, the alcohol is a good thing, but uh, personally, I think <laughs> that <laughs> that it's not very good for a young person, uh, and uh, I think it uh, uh, we we can uh, uh, sell. Uh, we can sell. not we. Uh, I mean, in general, in in the shop or or stores, uh, we can sell it. Uh, only um, uh, by the documents uh, uh, and uh, only for uh, adult uh, person. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, you think that uh, alcohol should be illegal and it, it should be sold only to adults? No, I think it's uh, only for adults. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, good. So thank you for your opinion. So uh, actually you can take notes of these expressions, uh, I mean uh, stating your opinion because we will do uh, something of the kind. Yeah, you can take a picture of it if you wish. Okay, good. <laughs> you should have said smile <laughs> or cheese. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, good. Uh, so, because we will uh, have another class, and uh, for sure, we'll give you some other statements to comment on. So, they will be useful for you to be learned and remember. Uh, well, I will show you once again, but uh, little by little, you'll have to learn them and use. As you can see, that helps you to express your opinion. So, that'll do with this warm up activity. Thank you for that. Now, let's come back to our topic. So, now I will send you the link of the document we will go this class. Mm, just a second please. Oh dear, I am afraid I have lost it. <laughs> just a second, okay? So grandma, grandma, grandma. Mm. Next. Grandma. Nope. Okay, I have found it, luckily. So here is the link in the chat. And I will also screen share for you document. Mm, hang on a second, please. So, when, how long, for, and since. First, we will uh, examine some uh, examples given in the explanation part, and then we'll do some exercise. So, the first part A, compare when plus past simple and how long plus present perfect. So, let's have a look at examples. Luba, will you please read the first one? <coughs> Uh, when did it start raining? <clears throat> it started raining an hour ago at 1 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here we use when and we ask a question using past simple. When did it start raining? Good, thank you. Next example, uh, Mikhail. How long has it been raining? Uh, mm -hmm. It's been raining uh, for, an hour, uh, for an hour. For an hour. It's been raining. For now, uh, I can choose. Okay, well. Um, no, it's not about choosing. It's just uh, both can be used. Uh, both can raining be. for an hour or uh, since one o'clock. That's it. So it's been raining for an hour. It's been raining since one o'clock. Good. Another example, Luba, please. Uh, when did you and Carol first meet? They first met a long time ago. Or when they were at school. That's right. Again, we're talking about when, and then we use past simple. And uh, another example, another short uh, couple of sentences, uh, Mikhail, for you. How long? 
uh, how long uh, Joe and uh, Carol know each other? They, uh, they, they have, uh, they have know, uh, they've, uh, yes, they, yeah, they know uh, each other for a long time, and uh, they, they know, uh, they have known each other since uh, they were at school. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. So they've known each other for a long time, or they've known each other since they were at school. Good. So uh, um, when did you start um, learning English, Yuba? When did you start learning English? Uh, I started learning. Mm -hmm. Learning English? Learning English um, uh, at school. Okay, good. How long have you been learning English, Luba? Oh, uh, I have been learning English for for a long time. For a long time. Okay, it's okay. We'll just some pauses, interruptions, and so on. Good. Mm, well, uh, Mikhail, when did you meet? When did you meet me, your teacher of English? When did you meet me? When? Uh, uh, when? Uh, I, uh, I met you mm -hmm. uh, maybe three months ago. Three months ago. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe. Okay, maybe yes, maybe not. Good. And uh, so how long have you known me? Uh, I know. Uh, I, I have. How long have you known me? Uh, I I have uh, know you. Yes. I have known you. Known you. Uh, uh, since uh, our. <laughs> <laughs> since our meeting. <laughs> yes. okay. Well, but, but if but we talk uh, in, in in July or uh, if I'm not mistaken, July, August, September, October. So it's almost four months. Yeah. So I've known you since uh, July, or since July. I've known you for four months. For four months, that's it. Okay, good. Let's move on with our table. Okay, just a second. Let's see. So B, we use both for and since to say how long something has been happening. So let's have a look at some explanations. So on the left. We use for when we say a period of time, two hours, six weeks, etc. I've been waiting for two hours. And here, another example. We use since when we say the start uh, of a period, like 8 o'clock, Monday, 1985, etc. I've been waiting uh, for you since 8 o'clock. So in the first example, I've been, wa I've been waiting for two hours. We want to make an emphasis on the period of time. And in the second example, I've been waiting since 8 o'clock, we are making an emphasis on a moment in the past, and the start of the action of the period of time. For well, two hours since 8 o'clock, uh, like in Mikhail's sentences, um, I, mm, well, uh, it was like, I've, I've, I've known you for uh, four months, and I've known you since, um, since, since July. So the, just the point is that the verb to know cannot be used in present perfect continuous because it's a non-action verb, but here we have the verb to wait, and it can be used in present perfect continuous. So I've been waiting for two hours, and I've been waiting since 8 o'clock. So here we have uh, a couple of actually some mm, words and expressions that you can use with for and since. So let's have a look at them. For two hours, for 20 minutes, for five days, for six months, for a week, for 50 years, for a long time, and for ages. I haven't seen it for ages. A nice expression to be used when you uh, bump into a friend of yours that you really haven't seen for a long time. So we can say, oh, Bob, I haven't seen you for ages. What's up? How's things? How, are, how, how is it going? <clears throat> since, on the right. So since 8 o'clock, since Monday, since the 12th of May, since April or July, since 1977, since Christmas, since lunchtime, and since they were at school. Let's have a look at examples. So, do we please read the first one? Sallis? Uh, 
uh, cell is been working here for six months, not since six months. Yeah, I can say cell has been working here since six months. No, cell has been working here for six months because you're making an emphasis on the period of time and on the right, Luba. Cell uh, has been working here since April, mm -hmm. from April until now. Absolutely, that's it. So, uh, so sir, I have a question. Um, um, do we use um, present perfect uh, or present perfect continuous? I see both um, times uh, are used here with what? Mm -hmm. Where uh, well here cell has been working here for six months. There is present perfect continuous, and here the same. But below. Uh, I mean, the next. Yeah. <clears throat> well, the point is that ah, numbers cannot, doesn't be, use cannot be used in English. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's it. But sometimes you're right that uh, sometimes a present perfect uh, can be replaced by present perfect continuous, even if it's about action verbs, not not only about non-action verbs. It depends on the context. It depends on what you really want to to know and what you mm -hmm. really want to express. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. That's mm -hmm. it. But here, in these very examples, like uh, examples that you have seen be uh, below, it is about the verb to see, and uh, the verb to see cannot be used in continuous form. But for some cases, if you want to mm -hmm. use, uh, like I'm seeing uh, a doctor tomorrow, it's like about a meeting, so you can use it, but it's just an exception. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Now it's clear. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. So uh, <laughs> please read. Um, Next example, I haven't seen. Is a question for me? No? Uh, not a question, but I want you to read this, the examples, please. I haven't I seen. I've seen Tom for, for three days. Not uh, science three days. Since, not science. Since. Since. I haven't seen Tom for three days, okay? And on the right? Uh, I haven't seen Tom science funding. Not science scenes. Seen. That's it. So I haven't seen Tom for three days period of time. I haven't seen Tom since Monday. We are talking about a moment. So from Monday until now. So Monday, a kind of a, a moment in the past. Until now. So that's it. So it is possible to leave out for, so we can use it or not, but not usually in negative sentences. Let's have a look at examples. If you want, we'll please read it. They've been. And they've been married for 10 years. So we, 10 years. You can say either they've been married 10 years or they've been married for 10 years. Personally, I prefer to use for. It's, it's really, um, I don't know, just I have a kind of a desire, need to, to use it. But if you don't use it here, it's OK. Not, it is not considered to be a mistake. And the next example, Mikhail, they. Uh, uh, tak, uh, they haven't, they haven't had, they haven't had um, a holiday for 10 years. Mm -hmm. So you must use for. They haven't had a holiday for 10 years because it's a negative sentence. And they said that usually it is possible to leave out for in positive, in, in uh, affirmative sentences, whilst in negative sentences, you usually you don't do that. You they haven't had a holiday for 10 years. We do not use for plus all, like all day, all my life, etc. I've lived here all my life. So it's not very correct to say I've lived here for all my life. So all day, all my, all, all my life, all week, and so on and so forth. So for is not usually used when you have all plus something else. All day, all my life, all month, all week, and so on. C. We say it's a long time, two years, etc. Since something happened, let's have a look at the examples. Do what, please. It's. It's two years uh, since I last saw Joe. I haven't seen Joe for two years. The last time I saw Joe was two years ago. That's right. So it's two years since I last saw Joe. It's two years since I then passed simple. Good. Another example, Mikhail. Age since we went to the cinema. We haven't been. 
Uh, we haven't been to the cinema for ages. We haven't been to the cinema for ages. Number eight, my brother and I, my brother and I, number eight, don't forget about that. We haven't been, we haven't been to the cinema for ages, for ages, Mikhail, for ages. For ages. You are for ages. For ages. That's it. So it's ages since we went to the cinema or we haven't been to the cinema for ages. As you can see, it's two years, it's ages since, then you use past simple, since I last saw you, since we went to the cinema, but if you want to use um, present perfect so you can you can change it a little bit. I haven't seen Joe for two years or we haven't been to the cinema for ages. The question is how long is it since? And the examples, Liva, how long? How long is it since you last saw Joe? Uh, that means when did you last see Joe? Mm -hmm. <laughs> How long is it since you last saw Joe? And another, the last example, Mikhail. How long is it since Mr. Hill died? died? How long is it since Mr. Hill died? So as you can see in the previous uh, structure, it's, and then you say like long time, two years, and so on, since something happened, so past simple. And in the question, the same. How long is it since something happened, since you uh, what did what you last saw George or since somebody died some Mr. Hill died in this example okay so these are the general tips and rules about how to use when how long for and since do you have any questions before we start to do exercises no no questions okay if you have no questions let's jump into exercises the first exercise 12.1 asks us to write questions with how long and when. Let's have a look at the example. It's raining. How long has it been raining? Or, if it is when, when did it start raining? Number two, Luba, for you. Uh, Kate is learning Italian. How long uh, has Kate been learning Italian? Very good. And another one for you as well. Uh, when did start Kate when did Kate start uh, learn to learn oh, wait. when did Kate uh, start learning Italian very good when did she start, you can say when did she when did she start learning Italian mm -hmm. <laughs> but your sentence is absolutely correct when did Kate start learning Italian or how long has she or has Kate learned how long has she been learning Italian or how long has Kate been learning Italian? Good, thank you. Three, are you? Uh, number three, yes. That's right. Uh, I know Martin. Uh, how long uh, have you been known? Sorry, how long have you? Have you been known? No, 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 no. Have you been? Have you known? No. Have you known? No. Martin. The the third uh, form of the verb. How long have you known? Martin. Martin. Okay, because the, the verb to know is a non-action verb. It can be cannot be used in continuous form. So if it was another verb, and it, let's imagine that a verb know can be used in continuous form, we would say how long have you been knowing? But since know is a non-action verb, we are uh, obliged to use the present perfect. So, how long have you known Martin? And another sentence, uh, Mihail? Uh, when was the first m m met? Uh, Sorry? When was the first... No, 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 no. no. Uh, okay. uh, so, in the first uh, sentence you said, how long have you known Martin? So, here again you have to use you. When? Uh, when you uh, uh, when you uh, well, first of all, let's um, let's uh, uh, clarify which tense should be used here. Present perfect, present perfect continuous, past simple. Which tense? Uh, <laughs> Well, you haven't been very attentive since we uh, discussed it. So, we when do we use when and when do we use uh, or? Uh, one second. 
But uh, if it's uh, about the question. Mm -hmm. um, so Luba, will you please help us? Will you help you? Um, when the question starts with word, <coughs> when we use past simple, yes. That's yes. right. Okay. Uh, <coughs> uh, what 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 is the exercise? I have lost it. Number one, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When did you have uh, first uh, meet? Uh, sorry, will you please repeat it, Mikhail? When? 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 Uh, I say did. When did you? Okay. <laughs> when did you? Uh, when did you ha ha have first? first no, 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 it's a half. When did you first? When did you first meet? Meet uh, with Martin. Not with, just uh, to meet somebody. So, when did you first meet Martin? Or when did you first meet him instead of Martin? So, how long have you known Martin? When did you first meet him? Mm -hmm. <coughs> Sorry. Okay? <laughs> okay, it is about when use past simple is how long uh, yeah, present, yeah, perfect, or present yeah, perfect continuous. Yeah, just mm -hmm. That's right. For all you please. Uh, Bob and Alex are married. How long have they been married? That's right. Good. How long have they been married? And when? Uh, when did they married? No. Here is kind of a tricky sentence. Uh, when when did, they, did they? When did they be married? No. Get married. When were they? <laughs> when did when they, they get married? To get married. Ah, get. When mm -hmm. did they get married? Yeah, when did they get married? So I can't ask when were they married. I cannot ask so. You okay. cannot. Uh, when when were they married? Uh, mm -hmm. When were they married? And when were they married? To be married? Yeah, possible, but but to get married is better. When did they get married? When were they married? Because they were married by someone. Well, when they when did they get to get married is better to be used. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So how long have they been married? And when did they get married? Good. Twelve twelve point two. <clears throat> Read the situations and complete the sentences beginning in the way shown, like in an example. Let's have a look. At the example, it's raining now. It's been raining since lunchtime. It started raining at lunchtime. And and I are friends. We first met years ago. We've known each other for years. So let's try to um, to complete the sentences uh, using the examples. Number three, Mikhail. Number three. Uh... One second, uh, Mark. Uh, uh -huh. Mark, will uh, became ill on Sunday. He has been. He has. Uh, he, he has been ill uh, uh, since uh, Sunday. That's right. He has been ill since Sunday. Well done. Okay, number four, Duba. Uh, he has been uh, ill for a few days. For a few days, very good. So in the first sentence, we make an emphasis on the moment in the past, and in the second one, I mean number four, we make an emphasis on the period of time for a few days. Good. Five. Mikhail? Uh, five. Sarah is married. Uh, she, she has been married for two years. Uh, uh, she, she got uh, married. She, she got married. Uh, for, uh, for two years, I, I don't know how, how she got. Uh, what, what is it? She, she, she to get married. To start, she well, if you say if the beginning of the sentence is she got, it means that you have to use past simple. And if it is past simple, she got married for two years. No, you Apparently, you don't understand the difference. So, for cannot be used in the past. 
he got married for uh, two years. She got married when? So she's been married for two years, like we are talking about now. So Sarah is married, and she's been married for two years. That means that two years ago, she got married. So she got married two years two years ago. Two years ago. Yeah, two years ago. Because she's married for two years up to this moment. So that means that she got married two years ago. Mm -hmm. OK, good. Number six, uh, Luba, please. Uh, you've got a camera. You bought it ten years ago. Uh, you've got a camera for ten years. You've got a camera for ten years. Uh, that which is a second, but it's about IB. You got a camera. You bought it ten ten years ago, and uh, your sentence is IB. Uh, I've got a camera for ten years. No. I've got. Oh yeah, actually yes, you're right. So I've I've got I've got I've had I would say. Well, it's possible to say I've got I've got. The point is that I've got. Uh, it's like it's another way to say I have. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it's about the possession. So I've had a camera. You know that in present simple you can say I've got a pencil. And mm -hmm. it can, but I had a pencil. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, it's just a, a structure, but it is possible. I've I've got um I've gotten, but here it's better to use to 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 have. So I've had. I've ah oh, okay. Or maybe I've bought. No uh, no no. I no, no, no. cannot use bought because it is present. Mm -hmm. uh, I've but present perfect. Mhm mm mhm mm mhm mm okay. So I've had. Mhm. Mm please. I've had a camera, uh, for ten years. Okay, I've had a camera 10 years or for 10 years. Good. Seven, Mikhail. You? Uh, seven. Uh, you has been in France uh, for, for the last three weeks. Uh, uh, she, she went uh, to, to France uh, uh, two, uh, so three weeks ago. That's right. So now you have understood. So she went to France three weeks ago. And number eight, my brother and I, my brother and I, number eight, Luba, for you. You are working in a hotel. You started in June. You've been no, no, working. I've, I've. Uh, I've, uh, I've been working in a hotel since June. Very good. I've been working in a hotel since June. Good. Present perfect continuous. So I'm still working there. Good, so that's right. Now 12.3 put in four or scenes. Put in four or scenes, either four or scenes. Let's have a look at the example. It's been raining since lunchtime. Number two, Mikhail. Number two. Uh, Tom's father uh, has been doing uh, the same job. Uh, For, uh, for 20 years. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's four or since? Mm -hmm. Since uh, 20 years. Why since? Like uh, he started uh, doing this uh, job when uh, uh, he's, uh, he, he was 20 years old. It's not about since he was 20 years old. 20 years. He's not 20 years old. 20 years. Uh -huh. <laughs> So is it about the moment in the past, or it's about the period of time? I think four. Uh, but, but Why? It's like uh, during the period... Uh, period of time, that's right. It's not about... The question is not about the moment in the past. If, it were, if there was a word old after years, 20 years old, you, you would use um, since, since he was 20 years old. But here we have just 20 years, so a period of time. That is why you can use only four. Tom's father has been doing the same job for 20 years. Okay, good. Three. Luba, please. Uh, have you been learning English for a long time? Why do you use four? Uh, because it's a period. A long time, it's a period. That's right, exactly. Good. Four. Mikhail. Uh, Sarah has lived in uh, London uh, 
things. Uh, 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 I'm sorry. Has lived in London since 1985. Why since? Why did you since? I think because it, uh, she 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 live it now. Uh, well, uh, what is the key word? A moment in the past or period of time? It's like from the from this period. From not period, it's from the moment, from from so the moment in the past, from 1985. So from the moment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Sarah has lived in London since 1985. Five. Give up this. Uh, since Christmas, the weather has been quite good. Since Christmas. Uh, mm -hmm. Why do you since? Uh, it's uh, exactly a time, a moment. Mm -hmm. A moment of time in the past. That's right. Good holiday, Christmas. So since Christmas, the weather has been has been quite good. Six, Mikhail. Uh, one second. Um, uh, please hurry up. Uh, we we have been uh, waiting. What is hurry up? I hurry up! Know. Hurry up! Just like speed up. Come on, come on, come on, hurry up. You don't have time to lose. Okay. We've been waiting uh, for an hour. Sorry, we've been waiting? For an hour. We've been waiting for an hour. Why do you use for instead of since? Uh, it's like a period of time. Exactly, that's right, for an hour. Good, seven. Well, if, if it was, if we've been waiting, um, and there was instead of an hour, uh, well, let's say 1 p.m. What would you use? We've been waiting. Da -dum -da -da -dum, 1 p.m. If there was uh, 1 p.m. instead of an hour, what would you use? Since, because in that case, we would be talking about. The moment in the past. We've been waiting since 1 p.m. Good seven, Duba, please. Uh, Kevin has been looking for a job uh, since he left school. Since he left school. Mm -hmm. Why do you use since? Um, because it sounds better than <laughs> Very nice. Sounds <laughs> 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 the, what I like uh, most of all is the intonation you have said it <laughs> because it sounds better. What do you want from me? <laughs> what do you want from me? So Kevin has been looking for a job since he left school. Well, here's about uh, the moment in the past, the moment when he left school. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here it's number eight, uh, Mikhail. Uh, the house is very dirty. Sorry. Uh, number eight. Uh, the house is very dirty. We haven't cleaned it. Uh, uh, what sounds better? <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, better since, since ages. Am I right? Uh, <laughs> we have uh, some problem with the connection. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> from the connection. What do you mean? <laughs> Since ages, is it okay to say, Mihail? We haven't cleaned it uh, <laughs> ages. for ages. For ages? Or for? Why not since? Sounds nice. Since ages, since ages, since ages. Mm, cool. No. Doesn't sound good for you. No, it's uh, so something with uh, the pronunciation. <laughs> Doesn't sound good. Okay, for ages you have just you have heard it for many times. Well, that is for ages. That's correct. <clears throat> period of uh, period of time. We haven't seen it. Uh, we haven't cleaned it for ages. And nine, uh, Luba, please. Uh, I haven't had a good meal uh, since last Tuesday. Only in the past. That's right. Is that true about you, Luba? Haven't you had a good meal since last Tuesday? No, it's not about me. <laughs> it's not about you. Okay. Yeah. When I cook you, every day. <laughs> oh, I cook every day, okay, and every day it's good meal, delicious, tasty, and, uh, and fresh. fresh and healthy. <laughs> good. 
Great, and prepared with love because he's pretty cooking for the family. Good, that's uh, okay. Yeah. Now let's pass to 12.4. Write B's sentences using the words in brackets. Let's have a look at the example. Do you often go on holiday? No, I haven't had a holiday for five years. Well, I do hope that I will not uh, have to say uh, the same. For now, I haven't had a hol holiday for three years and a half. <laughs> so the person in the example well, perhaps feels more tired than I do. Uh, so, um, number two. Whose turn is it? Mikhail, yours, I guess. Uh, do you often eat in restaurants? Uh, no, uh, I am. Um, I'm. Uh, <laughs> I I haven't uh, had. Uh, I haven't. Sorry. Uh, I haven't. Um, eat. Uh, uh, what is the right form of the verb to eat? I haven't I eaten. Eat. Okay, eaten. I haven't, I haven't eaten. eaten. In restaurant uh, for ages. I haven't eaten in a restaurant for ages. Three. Uh, do you often see Sarah? Um, no, I haven't seen her for a month. Mm -hmm, for about a month, okay. Or about a month. Good. Four. Mikhail? Uh, do you often go to the cinema? Mm -hmm. uh, no. no. Uh, I haven't been in cinema. Uh, well, here is a long time. Okay, so I haven't been. I haven't been. Uh, to. Uh, I haven't been to the cinema. Mm -hmm. To the cinema uh, for a long time. I haven't been to the cinema for a long time. That's right. Now, right, we we'll just tell, pronounce the B's answers again. This time, use it's da da dum da da dum since da da dum da da dum. So, uh, the question: Do you often go on holiday? No, it's five years since I had a holiday. Be careful. So, after it's da da dum da da dum since, you use past simple. So, Luba, uh, do you often eat in a re in restaurants? No, it's. Um. No, it's ages. I since haven't uh, since I since I had eaten in restaurant. No, 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 no. Why uh, do you? Since, uh, since I ate. I ate yes. Ate, ate, ate in restaurants. In a rest in a restaurant. In in a restaurant. Mm -hmm. Good. Three, Mikhail. Do you often see Sarah? No, it's. Uh, it, uh, ten years. No, 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 it's about a month. Month, okay. <laughs> no, it's uh, five months. It's uh, about a month. A month, okay. It's uh, one month. You mean. Yeah, about a month since. Uh, it's uh, about a month uh, since I. Uh, 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 I Pass simple. I uh, so, so. Sarah. Yeah, that's it. No, it's about a month since I saw Sarah. Good. Uh, for Luba, do you often go to the cinema? Uh, no, it's a long time since I went to the cinema. That's it. Very good. So if you use no, it's da 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 da, -da since you use past simple. Okay, <clears throat> so that's it. Uh, well, I do hope that you have understood the difference between when, how long, for, and since. Then now you will not mix it, and uh, yeah, everything depends on what you want to say and uh, actually what you want to emphasize. So if it's about the period of time, for, it's about the moment in the past, since, and so on and so forth. So that'll do. Do you have any questions? Related to the topic or just other questions? Yuba, Mikhail? No, no, thank you. No questions, okay. So, in this case, uh, thank you for joining this class. Uh, I wish you to have a good sleeping. I wish you to dream about something pleasant, warm, and cozy. And I do hope to uh, see you next time at my class. So, that'll do for today. Good night and bye bye.
Good night. Thank you. Good night. Be healthy. Stay healthy. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Eva. Thank you. Bye bye.